Pornocopia is different from most farming life sims, and that can be a good or a bad thing depending on a player's preferences. And if you click this video while wondering how is it different, is it for you? Well, this video will answer that very question to help you decide on that. So let's talk about the 8 things that makes Cornucopia unique. First, let me state the obvious. It's in 2.5D paper style. Cornucopia is presented in a stunning 2.5D paper style, but if that's not something that you're fond of, then there's always an option to tilt and adjust your view to make it easier for you to navigate the game. Barn animals will always be there for you, literally. You can let them follow you around anywhere you go, and they can even mine for you, chop trees for you, and even fight for you. This is pretty awesome because the game gives barn animals more than one reason for us to have. Scratch cards are everything in this game. They play a big part as it doesn't only give actual rewards, but also give quests, buffs, some handy stuffs, and even some treasure chests. So yes, this means more and more rewards. Scratch cards can really make it easier for us to progress in this game. Soil nutrient components are a thing. In Cornucopia, compost also play a big role, as there are three components that you have to consider before planting. There are also different types of soil for different types of crops, which also have their very own requirements. And yes, you can plant seeds wherever you want to just like in other farming games, but that will yield smaller veggies. So if you want bigger and more expensive crops, you gotta mix and match the right compost with the right soil type for every type of crop. I honestly think that it's a unique and interesting feature. Bombs are a necessity. This little farming game is also dependent on bombs for some weird reason, and it's so common in Cornucopia that it even has its own skill level. It's very useful for clearing farm debris though, so you can clear your whole farm in a single day with ease. Fishing is very simple. In some farming life sims, fishing can be very challenging while others can be very chill and relaxing. Cornucopia took the liberty of going beyond chill though because the fishing mechanic in this game is super simple. All you gotta do is decide where you want the marbles to drop and the one with the most marbles at the end will determine what you get. It's pretty random though, sometimes you can get fishes, most times you can even get treasures. There are tons of romanceable characters, and when I say tons, I really meant it. There are 32 romanceable characters in this game, and they range from younger bachelors and bachelorettes to much older options and even kappas. You heard me correctly, we can also romance kappas and even make weird kappa babies. Progression is faster than usual in Cornucopia. Unlike most farming games where you'd end up broke on your first, well, I don't know, whole season? In Cornucopia, you'd probably get a few thousand dollars in a day. You can probably even earn thousands on your second day, and it's not entirely up to luck. This is because it's easier to earn money in this game with the help of the scratch cards and also mining. Food is also not gonna be a problem in this game as you'll never find your character nor your animals hungry because there are tons of food sources even at the mines. And that's about it. Just a quick reminder that this game is still in early access and there are still lots in the work. But so far, there's already a good bunch of playable content that you can indulge in. So what do you think about this game? Let me know in the comments. And don't forget to move that like and subscribe for more Indian cozy game discoveries coming your way. Bye-bye!